for the Tokyo. Oh, wow. Here we go, this is gonna be the first ride of the new bike. Turn on the uh, system. I'm gonna head out today to, uh, to the Devil Bend Reservoir. So you can hear the motor going at the moment, I've got it on level one. I might turn that off actually. Go back so the motor is actually completely off and just running it like a, a normal bike at the moment. So the first difference that I've noticed between this bike and the old one is that level one has a lot more oomph. So I'm just, I'm riding without the motor at the moment. So I'm averaging around 23, 24 kilometers an hour. <laughs> it is definitely a uh, bigger bike all around and just feels stronger. Makes me feel more secure. What a glorious day. Mustang. Brakes are good, very good. Oh, I see, so that's how it tells me how much power I'm using. Try out the throttle, let's we'll see what happens now. At the moment I'm showing zero, I'm not on any of the settings. Push the throttle down, nothing. Okay, so you have to be in at least level one before the throttle will come on. 32, 33, 35, 40 k's, 42, <laughs> yeah, anyway I'll back off on that. Initial testing is telling me that most of my riding I'll just leave on level one. So if you hit a, a headwind or uh, come up to an incline, I, I doubt whether I'll need to go up to any other level unless it's really, really uh, steep inclines. So I'm assuming that once we get into uh, real mountain bike country, you know, goat trails, that's where the uh, other settings will come into play. As far as the rest of the bike's concerned, I'm very happy. It's firm, solid, comfortable. I might have to adjust the seat a little bit later. I think it uh, needs to be leveled out a bit, but they're, they're just, obviously on any new bike, you adjust things to uh, suit your own comfort. Uh, but, I said, you know, 
I could talk on for ages, but the um, I think the number one difference is I just feel safer. I feel like I'm on a very solid, uh, strong bike that will get me most places safely. And I get to be tested, but I suspect that this thing will probably go through some pretty uh, arduous areas from, from, a, from a 65 year old person who just wants a good, reliable, but very capable bike. And you know, I found it. Uh, I know that now there is one other difference between this bike and the old bike. You hear the gearing um, in the motor a lot. It's a lot louder. You know, there is a reason for that, and it's actually a good reason. So on the previous Bafang unit, all the internal gears were made of a, a type of nylon or a plastic. And as a result, they were very quiet, but um, I, after a lot of research, I discovered there are a lot of people who, when they were pushing the, uh, the bike, you know, pretty hard, they were stripping the gears. So this model, the internal gears are um, metal. Now, they're stronger, but the thing you have to pay for is a little bit of extra noise, but look, it doesn't matter. I mean, when you're out and about riding, wind noise and everything else is not relevant. I think the uh, tyres are also wider on this, which I think also gives me greater stability. I'm on the road down towards the uh, Devil Bend Reservoir. a reasonable hill. Very happy with the bike. Devil Bend Reservoir. Try one of my favourite areas down here. Last time I came down here, uh, it was in the middle of winter and it was atrocious, mud everywhere. Uh, we'll see. I'm hoping that it would have drowned, dried up a little bit by now. The gear movements are good. Yeah, good. <laughs> this is the area that, that was shocking. I'm glad that they've uh, that's dried up. So you know, the, again, the big difference. It just it just seems firmer. Um, it rides better than the old bike. It, it, so the best way to put it, so um, let's compare it to uh, cars. So I, I originally had a Jazz, Honda Jazz, and uh, it was okay. It, we bought it because it was cheap. And then uh, I switched to the Golf. Oh my God, the Golf is just so better. This is, this is what, the, the, this is in bike terms, this feels like going from the Jazz to the Golf. It really does. Oh yeah, man. Oh, this is so rideable. What do we got here? <laughs> Bog. This is what I was worried about. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. Whoop. I think I might have to hop off here. I'm doing this not because I don't think the bike's capable. I think it's very capable. I just don't want to get it too grubby straight off. <laughs> okay, what gear am I in? Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Low gear.
Oh, what do we got here? I think I might head back. Turns well. Let's have a look down here. It's just my luck, it'll be muddy. It's getting a bit that way. I might be lucky. Yes. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. See if we can find a trail out of here. That looks like that might be one. Let's have a look. Yep, here we go. Even on rough terrain, this bike seems more comfortable. best way to go around. Here we go, this way. I've just finished my first uh, ride on the new bike. It was uh, very successful. I think the uh, the bike ticks most of the boxes that I was uh, after. It's uh, very robust, very strong, um, comfortable to ride. Uh, the the uh, motor, electric motor, behaves differently to the uh, motor, the system that I built on the old bike. And one example is that uh, on level one, it seems to kick in quicker and seems to have a bit more power. Um, and at first I thought, hmm, that's a bit odd. But then when I was riding it around some of the trails up here, I noticed that uh, it was, it, it gave you the advantage when you were coming into a, a very sharp bend, um, it gave you plenty of torque to get out and fly up. As far as uh, being comfortable, very comfortable. Um, the it's a different experience. It it's a heavier bike. It's got bigger wheels. It's got a better suspension. Thus, it feels more comfortable, um, even on rough terrain. Uh, so, all up, my congratulations to Volition. I. I'm very happy with the bike, uh, happy to give them a five star rating, and um, it would, you know, oh, let's, let's face it, obviously this is the first time I've ridden it, and over time we'll see, but I would suggest that um, the bike is going to give me many, many years of uh, pleasure.